Hey everyone, and welcome to another Hemp Tips. Today, we'll be covering how to get rid of leaf miners from your grow space. Leaf miners are sort of a generic name for a variety of bugs that all have a similar characteristic ranging from a bunch of different types of flies to moths. They're given the name leaf miners because of how these bugs are born, which involves the eggs of these bugs always being laid on the leaves of plants. And when they hatch, the larva will eat its way into the interior of the plant leaf and then eat its way through it, leaving a trail of leaf damage as it bores its way through the internal leafy tissue. While the damage caused by individual leaf miners is usually not too bad and isolated to one leaf, the problem is that once the leaf miner finishes its larval stage, it'll undergo its metamorphosis into an adult insect. Now, most of these adult insects that a leaf miner can transform into don't actually cause any more damage to the plant. but the female can lay tens to hundreds of new eggs, a lot of the time right back onto the same plant, quickly causing an infestation if not contained early. Not only that, but the damage to the leaves can weaken it, opening it up for mold and mildew to take over. So how do we deal with these? Unfortunately, because a leaf miner is protected by the leaf itself on both sides, most direct contact options won't work against these pests. However, if you only notice a few of these on your plants, a simple solution is to just squish them with your fingers so that they stop damaging the plant leaves, or if a leaf has extensive damage from multiple miners, just remove the leaf from the plant, and be sure to dispose of it far away. Another option is with the use of white oil, an insecticidal spray that can block the breathing pores of the leaf miners. This can easily be made at home by pouring three tablespoons of vegetable oil with one tablespoon of dishwashing liquid into a gallon of water. Shake liberally until it's all mixed together and then you can use it from a spray bottle directly onto the affected leaves on both sides, but only when the lights are off and when the sun is down, as this is an oil-based mixture, so it can cause the leaves to burn if applied under intense light or heat. Finally, if you notice that the leaf miners are growing up and turning into flies, to lower the chances of the adults from coming back, you can also use some yellow sticky traps to lure the adults away from your plant leaves. If you don't want to make it, you can also buy the concentrated version of this, which is usually labeled as horticultural oil. Neem oil can be used as well, which will not only suffocate the insects, but also cause them to stop eating. However, even though it's an organic option that's more effective than white oil, there's now some findings that it may be harmful if consumed. So it's not my first go-to option. And since both of these are oil-based, you want to only apply these on the leaves and avoid using them on the buds. And that's it. Like the content? Then be sure to check out our beginner's guide to creating CBD products from scratch, available at Amazon in print and digital, with links in the description below. You can also find us at hempinapot.com. <laughs>